NYC on the Skyline stage. So I'm here together with uh, Amanda Terry, who's the CEO of Home, um, and co-founder at MetaGood. Thanks for being here. I think we're sharing a mic, so thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So, you know, I wanted to start off with a softball question. And the first one is basically, you know, could you tell us a little bit more about MetaGood and the inspiration for starting it? So MetaGood is the company behind the NFT collection on Chain Monkey. Uh, we started the company last May. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders with Bill Tai. Bill Tai has been in crypto since 2010. He's one of the first investors in Zoom, Wish, Canva, and 23 other public traded companies. Our other co-founder is Danny Yang. He's our CEO. Danny Yang uh, created MyCoin, which is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in Taiwan. He also founded Blockseer, which is an uh, analytics company he sold in 2018 on uh, the Stanford Bitcoin meetup, PhD in computer science from Stanford. So wicked smart guys I started this with. And really the idea was like, how can crypto do good, right? So we've seen a lot of collections create wealth in a very short period of time for people, but how can you actually use the power of crypto to create wealth for a community, but also incentivize people to work together to, uh, to do good? And that's the background of MetaGood. Fantastic. And, you know, that sounds very exciting. And obviously, gamifying, doing good is always a great thing. One of the things I wanted to ask you about is your first NFT project, which is on Chain Monkey. Um, it's really special. Can you explain why it's special and what the, what the philosophy behind that is? Sure. So, on Chain Monkey was the first profile pick collection all on chain in a single transaction which there's a couple medium posts we've, we've uh, danny's written about it but it's actually a really big deal and very historic uh because basically they were coded into existence so all of the images and metadata live in an svg file as long as ethereum exists your monkeys will exist it's kind of like the cave paintings the lasco cave paintings in france um, which is very significant and different even our new collection the karma collection uh, which is being done by Hollywood animation artists, the team behind Rio, Ice Age, and Ferdinand. All of the metadata is still also going to be on chain as well. So, um, and you know, we've really, you know, so outside of just the technical aspect, um, we really believe in doing well and doing good. So, from our trading revenues, you know, we're a free mint in September. Uh, some of those trading revenues have gone to help things like Sharbat Gula and her family get out of Afghanistan to Italy. Um, we also, three weeks into our collection, one of our holders wanted to donate his on-chain monkey, and we, bit, we put it up for auction. Um, Charlie Lee and uh, Roam from Dapper Labs, our two investors, bid it up to 12.5 ETH, and we donated it all to the UNICEF project, Giga Connect, which is bringing internet uh, to schools globally. And then we helped them launch their own NFT collection, a thousand NFTs called Patrick Kingdoms in January. So. We are actually very proud to be awarded Fast Company's 20 best world-changing ideas for impact investing. So, you know, both we've been able to create you know, a lot of wealth for our community. Um, I think we're one of the top performing NFT collections on basis of profitable trades of all NFT collections. Uh, even in this difficult market, we've managed to increase in value. We're one of the only uh, mid-cap collections, so floor price of one to seven eight. It was started over 60 days ago. That has increased in value uh, over the last 60 days. If you check out my Twitter, at Amanda Terry, I pinned a tweet with some of that data. So obviously we've done well for our community. People are very happy with that. But we've also been able to do real world good along the way. Excellent. And you, met, you, you mentioned the Karma Collection, and that's the new collection you have coming out. Uh, there's something very, very special about that. You know, what is exactly the theory behind the Karma Collection, and how does it differ from your first drop? Uh, yeah, so our, our first drop uh, was somewhat unplanned. We were actually planning on doing a collection around bears, and we were starting to get ready, okay, all of our marketing strategy around Discord and Twitter. And then Danny, as like a side project, thought, hey, I wonder if I can create a 10,000 profile pick collection all on chain. And he basically just launched it as a side project, sent Bill and me a WhatsApp on September 11th, and said, hey guys, you might want to check this out. Roam from Dapper Labs retweeted it, and then we were basically claimed within four hours. So, and then grew a community from there. Um, so that was kind of the organic start of OnChain Monkey. Uh, the Karma Collection on the other side has been actually a really cool story. One of our community members took his monkey, created a monkey derivative art, and 
posted on Twitter, and people liked it so much that we reached out to him and said, hey, do you want to work with us? That he hired his boss and two other animators to create the Karma Collection. So Karma Collection has been in the works for nine months and you know, hand-painted a lot of effort. So kind of two very different approaches to, to the art. Um, but again, you know, the first Gen Genesis Collection, all on chain, the images and the metadata. Karma, the metadata will also be all on chain to stay with our on chain monkey theme. Fantastic. And you mentioned the, that, you know, a word here that's really important, which is community. And community is obviously critical in this space. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago, you started a DAO. And so, could you talk a little bit more about, you know, what the theory behind that was and, you know, how critical the DAO will be to your future? Sure. So, I mean, I think DAOs are a very important tool for incentivizing communities and giving power of decision making back to your token holders. So we launched a DAO, 50% um, of the revenues from our public mint of Karma will be going into our DAO. So it will be you know, well-funded. And the idea is really to enable every Genesis and Karma NFT holder to have the ability to propose and vote for Web3 and social impact projects that build the community and ecosystem and brand of OnChain Monkey. So it's really a powerful concept. So instead of Danny, Bill, me, you know, our 15 employees decide, okay, we're gonna do this, or we're gonna do that. We want big projects, awesome projects, from our community, from our members, all to be coming through our DAO. Not only will you get funding from the DAO, you'll also get support from our team, so Bill, Danny, me, and you'll have a built-in base of supporters. So if you're like a new NFT collection, right now we have 3,000 holders, maybe after the new mint we'll have 5,000. You have a built-in base of community holders that want to support your project. So I think that's also super powerful. That's fantastic. And, you know, what kind of projects do you see in the future? Obviously the community will decide a lot of it. But you personally, what kind of projects would you like to see continue on OnChain Monkey? And how many sort of, uh, you know, things will you do on there? I mean, I can talk about a couple, and this kind of gets, you know, really interesting. So beyond just our holders, because we've created such such an authentic community of people, and we've figured out ways how to incentivize them through fungible and non-fungible tokens, we've had many brands now come up and approach us and say, how do you use NFTs to motivate our customers, to get new customers? So actually, and this is a little alpha, and if anyone at the bar just could, if anyone at the bar could just go outside if you want to chat. Hey guys, guys. Hey guys, sorry, that, sorry, just, just everyone, would you mind if you're at the bar and you want to chat, love it, but can you go outside and we're just gonna try to finish the last few panels. She's about to give the alpha. So it's a little easier for everyone on the panels to hear. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you. I'm not trying to call you out or anything, but I am calling you out, okay. Um, <laughs> um, so alpha, um, Sometime tonight and tomorrow, on-chain monkey karma is actually gonna be projected on the New York Stock Exchange Times Square billboard. And we don't expect it all stand out there, we're gonna have a camera crew doing that, but that's because we are partnering. Actually, the team was here from the New York Stock Exchange. They wanna work with Metagood to figure out a way, how do we incentivize companies that are meeting their ESG goals to earn NFTs and how do we work with their communities. So this is an example of something and of course we say, okay, New York Stock Exchange, we love that, but if you want to propose that, you want us to come through the DAO, then you need to participate as part of the DAO, so you need to be Genesis and Karma holders. So now not only do we have individuals that are buying our monkeys, we can have some very large institutions and brands come in to work with us and you know, tap the expertise of Bill Tai, you know, legendary Silicon Valley investor, Danny Yang, probably one of the smartest and hardest working people I've ever worked with in my life, uh, and you know, myself from a business perspective, and have this built-in community of people supporting your project. So um, that's that's a little alpha, but that, that's one project that that is going to be coming down the line. You know, alpha is you know, we will get videos of, of us in Times Square. I'm actually presenting on Thursday to the New York Stock Exchange about what we can be doing as a company, MetaGood, what OnChain Monkey is doing, what our, how awesome our community is, and how we can bring those values and what we've learned from building this community to other brands. Well, that sounds awesome. You know, as ESG becomes important socially, but also legally as well, uh, 
these kinds of projects will be critical. Can you define it for everyone? Uh, ESG. Uh, environmental, social, and governmental goals. Absolutely. Yeah. So ESG is uh, really, really critical, and obviously the community behind it uh, is really what's driving it as well. It's really what's getting people in the government and the legal communities really behind it as well. So in terms of community, how do people get involved? How do they actually, uh, you know, uh, become part of the medical community? Yeah, so on the, on the, I mean, we live in Discord and Twitter, so drop in, actually. Uh, Sophia and Brian and Steve, who are all part of Adelaide, who are all part of our community management team, are all here. So uh, you can talk to them in person, but drop into our Discord, drop into Twitter. Uh, it's not too late to get on OpenSea or Nifty Gateway if you want to use a credit card. You can buy our Genesis monkeys. Um, and then if you have a Genesis monkey, you can also be put on the on chain monkey allow list to buy a Karma Monkey, which will be on Wednesday. So that's probably the best way. We've also partnered with other uh, NFT communities, uh, and if you might also win an allow list spot through a raffle, it's a little bit more, you know, like like chance. So I would recommend everyone come in now for Genesis Monkey, then get on the on-chain monkey allow list so you can be ready for Karma. If you wanna be really baller, and I know there's a lot of people in this class who are baller, you can buy your Genesis, and then your D1 and your D2, and we'll be dropping a VIP Mint Pass, which will be an NFT this week. You can use that yourself. You can gift it to someone that you wanna bring into the community. You can sell it on OpenSea. You can do whatever you want, but that VIP Mint Pass, that NFT, those people will mint first. So that's kind of like guaranteed, uh, guaranteed good karma. And then uh, you know the public allow list, other allow lists will go from there. And then we'll see what happens with the public. But like, definitely get on a allow list. Perfect. Well, Amanda, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you know, you've been great. And uh, if you ever want to hear more interviews and things like that uh, about uh, news from the metaverse, check out Virtual Times. VirtualTimes.com is where you want to go.